Hi there, I'm Maddie, Customer Care Specialist here at Instant, and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the Instant Solo Single Serve Coffee Maker. Today, I'm going to show you everything that comes in the box, how to brew a cup of coffee, how to clean it, and a few extra tips just to make sure things are running smooth. So what comes in the box? When you first open your solo, you'll see your getting started guide. This has lots of useful tips and important safeguards that you should read through before you brew any coffee. Next is the solo itself. So here's the main unit. We'll go over all the different parts and features now. Starting here on the top, we have our touch panel control with five different buttons. Power, our three different sizes, and bold. Then we have our latch here, which you can use to open it up and put your pods in, or you can use our reusable pod. On the bottom, we have our drip tray here, and this comes off for super easy cleaning. And on the back, we have our water tank and its lid. Before you use your Solo for the first time, you'll want to clean all the parts. The drip tray can go in the dishwasher, the water tank and its lid you'll want to wash by hand, the rest of the outside of the unit and the cord you can just wipe down with a damp cloth. Now that all your parts are clean, you're going to want to run an initial cleaning cycle before you brew any coffee. All you'll need to do that is your water tank filled to max and a mug that can hold at least 10 ounces. Once you have that, we'll just put our water tank on and then you'll put your mug underneath here. You'll hit power and then you'll hit eight ounces and let eight ounces run until it's empty. Then you'll pour out your water and then you'll do the same thing with 10 ounces. You wanna make sure you do this without a pod in so you're running just clean water through the machine. After that, your Solo will be ready to use. Now that your Solo is clean, it's time to brew a cup of coffee. There are two ways to brew in the Solo, standard and bold, and both of these modes work in altitude mode. I'm going to demonstrate standard. So first, you'll take your coffee, whether that's in a reusable pod, any Keurig style K-cup, or one of our instant compostable pods, and you'll open up the lid here, put that right in, and then we'll close the lid, and that will puncture the pod, then we'll hit power and then we just select whichever size we want. I'm going to go for eight ounces. Now you'll see it's pre-infusing before it starts to drip. And once this light stops flashing, then we'll have our coffee brewing. All right, now our coffee is done and we're ready to enjoy it. You can make a lot of great things with the Solo. You can make black coffee or you can add ice to make an iced coffee, or you can even add foam with our instant frother to make a latte. Now, if you'd like to make a bolder cup of coffee and infuse your beans for longer, you follow these same steps. You'll just hit the bold button before you select your size. And as I said before, both of these modes work in altitude mode. Now, altitude mode is for people who live at 5,000 feet above sea level or higher, because when you're at a higher sea level, your water boils at a lower temperature. But luckily, our team has accounted for this. So in order to activate altitude mode, all you need to do is press the eight ounce and 10 ounce buttons at the same time for three seconds. And when they flash like that, you know that your Solo is in altitude mode. In order to keep your Solo functioning properly, you'll want to clean it regularly. In order to do that, you need to remove the drip tray and you can clean this in the dishwasher. And you can remove the water tank and you'll wanna wash this by hand with warm soap and water. You'll also wanna make sure after you brew your coffee to always remove your pods so that there's no coffee buildup on the inside. Now we're going to go over some troubleshooting tips for some issues that you might encounter. If you're finding that your Solo is clogged, the first thing you're going to wanna do is check your needle. You'll wanna check the top needle first, and if it's still clogged after that, you can check the bottom needle. Now we do have an extra video that goes really in depth on how to clean the needles, so you'll wanna check that out. If your water tank is full, but you're still getting a water tank empty message, it's very likely that you need to clean your needles. Here's some extra useful tips for you. If you wanna turn the sound off on your Solo, you just hold the eight ounce and 12 ounce buttons at the same time. Now the sound is off. If you wanna turn the sound back on, you just hold them together again and it's back on. You can also remove the drip tray if you wanna brew into a larger mug or a travel mug. All right, that's everything you need to know about your Instant Solo Single Serve Coffee Maker. Got any questions? Let us know. Our team is always happy to help. You can reach our customer care team at our website, instanthome.com. You can also reach us on our Facebook community or any of our other social media platforms. We also recommend you download our Instant Brands Connect app for more resources and recipes. Thanks for watching.